Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to our Fifty Shades Darker review. Joining me today is my sister Trisha and our cousin Tori. Hi. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ripping off the band-aid. Okay. Let's just dive in. And if you're wondering, this is a spoiler review, but don't worry because there's not much to spoil about this movie because everything that does happen in this movie has no consequences. So let's just not worry about that. Let's just talk about the first movie really fast because that was my least favorite movie of 2015. Uh, what do you guys think about it? Basically, the almost the same thing as the second one. And that's why this movie is just atrocious. It's not entertaining whatsoever. It's literally the same movie as the first one. All the problems the first movie had, this movie has. Which is... I think the only thing different was the ending. Yeah, but... But at the same time, like, they both ha almost had no ending. Yeah, it just kind of closes randomly, like, really abrupt. And that's, like, the biggest problem with this movie is there's no plot. There's no story whatsoever. It's literally them just walking around, talking about nothing, just them dating. And all the scenes feel like they're the same. So honestly, you're just basically watching people date. And honestly, you can <laughs> even kind of tell that the actors didn't even want to, like, film this movie. <laughs> there is just zero chemistry. I don't like the <laughs> casting at all, and it's even worse like them together because it's just bad. Okay, well I um I haven't read the second book, but um I did have the first book, or it was loaned to me, and I read a little over than half of the book, and it was so bad I could not finish it. So if anything, at least the movie is kind of true to the book that it's horrible writing, just bad dialogue. It's just all over the map. I don't even know what to but say. That just makes me think, why was it a movie from the start? If the source material is garbage, it is, it's fan fiction of Twilight. Why, why do we need a movie of this? Who asked for Fifty Shades of Grey? If you just want to like watch two people banging, you know, the internet exists. So why are you going to go... And everything you find on the internet for that is going to be ten times better <laughs> than the horrible stuff we, you see in, in these movies. It's, they, they focus on this plot that's not really there. There's nothing to the plot. I swear, all the scenes are the same. I felt like they were playing the same song over and over. The cinematography was even god-awful. It was just like, I feel like everything that happened in this movie did nothing for the story. It was just kind of happening just to happen. Yeah, and I feel like the... I don't, I don't remember their names because I didn't pay attention that much, but... Um, <laughs> I just feel like they were trying to be all cute and romantic and lovey-dovey, but really it just came off as awkward and, like, uncomfortable. Like, there was no chemistry between the two characters. Yeah. They're horribly written characters. She is just so beyond boring, and you said she's like that in the book, too. She's, like, described as plain, and that definitely shows because you're bored. <laughs> like, but Christian's also just, like, a serial killer. He has no emotion, and if anything, he comes across like bossy, like he thinks he's her father. Yeah, I feel like he was so douchey. If I were her, I'd been like, I'm out, like from the start. Yeah, every time she opened her mouth, I was just like, oh my god, here we go again. Like, <laughs> please just shut up. You don't have anything interesting to say. I rarely walk out during movies, and I walked out for a good 30 minutes of this movie, <laughs> and when I walked in, I felt like I didn't miss anything. Like, yeah. this movie has no structure, there's no beginning, middle, and end, and... I missed the part where he gets in the helicopter crash, but I... It, once again, it did absolutely nothing for the story. Uh, it yeah. was pointless. It was just, I guess, just to make him look, like, cool. I don't know. But he, he comes <laughs> back minutes later, not a scratch, not a cut, not a bruise, and he's just, like, there. So there's no consequences. It did nothing for the plot. And there's, the, what, this crazy ex-girlfriend? Which, which is the same scenario. It does nothing for the plot. She shows up for a few, okay, cool, then she leaves. That has nothing to do with anything. Like, why didn't they make that the the plot? Like, that the whole plot? Why did they just, like, add that in the beginning? I honestly you know? feel like the why biggest... Why didn't they revolve this movie around the crazy ex? Uh, like, an actual plot? Yeah. So, exactly. I feel like the biggest draw to this movie might just be them boning. Like, oh, hey, it's a porn. It's not good! But not only that, but I think that's a horrible thing to base a story off of. Is because anything that they do, you can find better online. So, it... Why would you... I can't! This is making me angry! Because I'm mad that this exists. And, like, whoever read this book, I don't know how they read them, and I don't know who thought, let's make this movie, when the book sucks. It makes me angry. Why did we see this movie? That, that's the real question. Um, I kind of wanted to see the, see the second one just to see if anything happens. Like, hoping, oh, maybe they actually have a story to this. 
but they didn't. I wasn't expecting a story. I, I thought maybe if you know you go in drunk, that might you help. might have a good time. You might laugh. No, 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 it this triggers is... your gag. <laughs> <laughs> this movie was a buzzkill, even. Yeah, yeah, like as you're drinking, you're just like, this is not working. You're just looking around the theater, like, please God, someone get me out of this movie. I'm <laughs> I honestly interested. considered just leaving the theater. Like I was, it was honestly putting me to sleep. I was tired. It was late, and I was like, let's just get out of here. Um, the only thing that would have made this movie better is if they would have broken up because a relationship based on just sex, which basically is the whole movie, is not going to work. And it would be way more realistic like that instead of, oh, love story, happy ending, like that's just unrealistic. Why did they make a second movie if the first one was so bad? Did we already talk about that? No, it's just, it's all money. The cast doesn't even want to be there and you could tell. All I'm saying is please don't be a third one. Right? Oh, there's going to be a third one because people are seeing this movie. <laughs> I know. I feel like maybe the the whole point of it was supposed to be like she comes in and like changes him. But it's like he's not even changing. Like he still wants to own her. You know what I mean? Like she's his dog. <laughs> there's, she's not really changing him. The movie was honestly torture. I felt like I was getting butt raped. Like <laughs> as I was sitting there, it's like, oh dear Jesus, please end. But it wouldn't end. It wouldn't end. It was true torture. Please don't see this movie. I'm telling you right now, this is... It has to be the worst movie of the year. I can't picture any other movie coming out this year that is this bad. So it's the worst mo movie of the year just like last year. The first one was the worst movie of the year. Maybe. There's there's not much else to say about this movie because this movie has no substance. Let's just leave it at that. I'm going to give Fifty Shades Shadier <laughs> a 1.5 out of 10. What do you guys give it? I ain't even gonna play around. I give it a zero. I want to see this movie again if someone vacuum paid me. You know what? I'm I'm being super generous with that point five. Yeah. Super yeah, generous. Being generous with the one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to <laughs> give it a one. It was just no good. Well, I honestly learned my lesson. I'm not gonna see the third one ever. Yeah, my life. <laughs> I'll I yeah, will die. Life. No, I'm you know, gonna we're die it. before I see it. We have to review that one. We it's gonna to be the it. same review, just like the first one. I just want to warn everyone to not see this movie. Like, save your money, do whatever you can, dodge it. Because if you're trying to see a movie for Valentine's Day, there's there's other movies out there. Yeah, you're gonna be disappointed. Go see The Space Between Us instead. <laughs> it looks better sure, at least. There's a plot. Oh, oh, look, there's... Split is still out, La La Land, The Lego Batman, John Wick Chapter 2. Don't go see Fifty Shades Darker and make the same mistakes we did because it was, it ruined the whole night. You can also find Trisha, Tori, and myself on our other channel, KE Music Video. Link is in the description. We do music videos. Uh, we try. We, we, think, we think they're funny. Uh, whenever we get a good idea, we just try to do a music video. Hopefully we don't get copyrights one day. <laughs> but check that channel out. And be sure to subscribe I'm and like good. the videos because they're hilarious, at least to us. They're fun to make them. <clears throat> so if you saw Fifty Shades Darker, what did you think about it? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and share. And as always, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.